Now we're going to take a look at the present tense of ir. The verb ir is to go in English. It is an irregular verb because it is just an IR, so there's not a clear ending that I can drop off there, otherwise I wind up at a whole new word. So it's important for you to put these on a note card to memorize that the alternate forms of the irregular verb ir are voy, vas, va, vamos, vais, van. So that's going to be I go, you go, he, she goes, and so on. So that's just something that you're going to have to remember. The endings are similar to what you see on an AR verb. So it is quite the exception to the rule. Ir is often used with a preposition, so that should make sense. In English, I would say I'm going to the store. So in Spanish, the way we account for that is a, but if we are combining a with a masculine noun, so if I'm going uh, voy a, uh, I'm thinking of all, of all of feminine words right now, of course, um, just, you know, el parque, like they have in the example. Instead of a el, it becomes voy al. So you have to be on the lookout for that al word. If it's feminine, it's going to remain as a la or a las. And then masculine plural is going to follow the same pattern as the feminine. It's not going to become al. When I'm building sentences and I'm looking at the building blocks, ir a would be followed by a place or possibly a verb. Like, I'm going to brush my hair. So if I was doing that, voy a, and then I would have the infinitive form of brush, cepillar, cepillar, and then my hair. So probably voy a cepillarme el pelo. So different things right there. Um, so I'm going to read. So I'm going voy a leer. So when we're following behind the verb to to go, we have to use the infinitive form and not a conjugated form behind it. Um, in English, we say things like let's go, let's eat, um, those type of things. In Spanish, we would have vamos a pasear, let's take a walk. Notice the word to is not in the translation. The same is true with vamos a comer, same thing we don't see in let's eat, there's no to in the translation. This is because it's an implied situation in Spanish where we have to have the, the letter a, but it doesn't necessarily directly translate to English.